Hey, Andrew. Hey, how are you? <laughs> I'm doing well. How about yourself? I'm doing good. Good deal. I understand uh, you are in for a big weekend. I thought about this but while I was waiting uh, for you to come in that, you know, usually Memorial Day weekend is, you know, a big part of everybody's summer, right? Kickoff. Mm -hmm. But I would imagine this weekend is your big summer weekend because it's, of the release. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. <laughs> and my wife's birthday was actually on Memorial Day. <laughs> well, you've had a lot to celebrate then. So it was, a, yeah, it was, there was a lot to celebrate. <laughs> well, you've got this six song EP uh, and yeah. some of these songs I know you have, been, you personally have been living with for a while. Mm -hmm. So I would imagine that would raise the intensity of getting it out there for everybody to hear. Now, there's two or three songs that I think all fans probably know, but mm -hmm. a few new ones. Can you talk about that? Yeah. So, you know, I threw, I threw Gone Too Soon and Wine Country on the EP um, just because they kind of, they kind of like formed me into who, who I am now. And how could I not, how could I not put them on there? Um, but the four new, the four new tracks on the EP, um, we released Somebody Loves You kind of early to do a little teaser kind of thing. And so we've got Somebody Loves You, mm -hmm. uh, When the Whiskey Runs Out, Like Yesterday, and We've Always Loved. And I co-wrote all these songs, um, which I take a lot of pride in. Um, I think it's a, a really cool thing to be able to be in the room with these guys while we're writing these songs and see them come to life, not only lyrically, but melodically and with the track and everything going on in the room. It's so cool to, uh, to be a part of that. And I like to, I've had so many people ask me, Oh, what's your favorite song? And it's like, they're all my babies. <laughs> I can't, I don't know if I could, I don't know if I can say that, but yes, um, not a fair but, question. Yeah, it's it? been, it's been, uh, eventful morning already this morning for sure <laughs> that's fantastic you you well deserve it um thank you speaking of these songs you know for those who are just getting to know you of course you know mm -hmm. you had a huge have a huge uh, following on tiktok and that kind of launched you into radio mm -hmm. which it's a whole different path uh what you you get points for this i mean for start doing something that is so innovative you know uh the way you, you started your career i think a lot of a lot of people are looking at that and seeing mm -hmm. kind of seeing what you're up to to mm -hmm. see what steps they should take are you seeing that i mean i'm seeing it from out here are you feeling that as an artist definitely you know i feel like more people are starting to use social media platforms especially tiktok um to, to get songs out and to get different, uh, no, not even if it's songs, just business people. I, I, I found a guy on TikTok yesterday that makes fishing lures and he's blowing up on TikTok right now because he listens to country songs and he lip syncs them and he makes fishing lures while he does it. Wow. And, and at the end of the video, he like swoops down and he shows his hat with a lure sitting on top. And I'm like, that right there, you're doing it. Like he can't be more than like, 18 or 19 years old but I'm going you're doing it the right way man like you're you're making a business out of this like he, he's doing he's doing incredible stuff I hope he hears this can sends me some lures because I'm a huge fisherman <laughs> and he had some awesome lures <laughs> you know the thing is we all we all enjoy seeing someone being themselves a hundred percent and you know that's what people connect with so much like that's what real people truly connect with is when people are just trying to be themselves and not trying to overdo something or overdo a video um you know just just truly being you and doing things you know it could be the most random thing in the world like cooking chicken taco bowls <laughs> it, which you and, can do which you, yeah you can do and, and people people connect to it and it's it's really incredible the power of people and the power of social media well, one step further into that, if if you were uh, going through your songs and mm -hmm. picking a song, if somebody asked you, which I'm going to, um, which one of these songs really is a is insight to you for us to get to know you personally? <clears throat> Are they that personal? Uh, honestly, just about all of them. Yeah. Really. Um, I think if I did have to choose, like a favorite, if you would want to say. Mm -hmm. um, it, would well, it doesn't have to be, be a favorite, but I mean, you know, something yeah. that reflects you, you know? Yeah. Um, probably like yesterday. 
um, you know, I, I wanted to, I wanted to show people, um, with, with a couple of the songs on the EP, like, I, I do have, like, yeah, my, my, like, Gone to Shin and Wine Country, that's a very now country song, that's a very pop country song, um, but, you know, I wanted people to see that I also do have, um, like, a tradition, more traditional country sound side as well, um, and that it doesn't really, it doesn't really matter, because music is music and it's subjective to change and to people and I had so many people comment I don't even listen to country music but I love this song and now I, I followed most of these people back on on social media and now when I see their stories and whatnot they li they're listening to country music and nothing but country not a, not, a, not just gone too soon but nothing but country music and it's it's cool to be able to show those both sides um, because, you know, I do have, like, I do have a pretty boy side, if you want to call it, you know, <laughs> but I also have my country side to where I have nothing but camouflage and hunting and fishing and outdoors. But when I'm out and I'm in front of people, yeah, I've got a, I've got a pretty boy side, I guess. You know? <laughs> I mean, who doesn't though? Who doesn't like to get dressed up and go out? <laughs> Your, your wife appreciates it. A hundred percent. I have one last question to ask you about. I know yeah. something, one thing that and I love the classic country, you know, I lived through a lot of that. I grew up on a lot of that. And um, I know not only do you sing about Conway and Patsy and George, but you actually are a fan of the, the music of Waylon and so forth and so on. And, and uh, a lot of our stations play those songs still you know they mm -hmm. they reach back in can you talk about the influence on your career those artists have made yeah so you know I've had so many different like I, I find I find influence and inspiration through so many different people and through so many different artists too like it, it ranges from from the Conway Twitties and George Jones and all the way to, to Brad Paisley's and Keith Urban's and Sam Hunt and Luke Bryan and Luke Combs and then over to Justin Bieber and Usher and Russ and Rihanna and you know these pop people pop singers have they can run these different melodies that that normal country singers run in a, in a traditional country song and um, to be able to take something from their side of the world and bring it over into the country world and then be able to turn it into something cool that people can connect with and, and still go, this is country, but it's today's country. And, it's Andrew you know, country. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, you know, it's, I, I think if I wanted to say anything to anybody is that it's okay, one, it's okay to be different. And it's, it, it, that's really it. Like, it's, it's okay to be different. And just you kind of have to not, I don't want to say not care what people think, but everybody is going to have an opinion. And, you know, some people may like my music and some people may not, but I take it with these songs are a part of who I am and the people that do connect with them, just, I don't know, they Love just you. connect with them and the people who don't, that's okay. It's well, not, it's not for you. You so. are definitely on the right track, Andrew. Thank you. It's, Thank uh, you. I enjoy your music and always enjoy chatting with you. Wish you the best and congratulations on the new EP today. Thank you so much, Shannon. I definitely look forward to talking to you again. And yeah, have a good weekend. You are gone too soon. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye, Shannon.